there are some new editing features that as a full-time editor have absolutely blown me away. I'm gonna explain what they are, how to use them directly from CapCut itself. Let's dive into it. The first feature is multicam editing. Yes, you heard that right. Multicam editing directly from CapCut. I never thought I would say those words. Let's say I have two clips, camera A and camera B, and they're both recording at the same time. I can go ahead and now and import those clips, highlight them, right click and say create multicam clip. Based on the sync that you choose, which is auto or audio, I'm gonna say create within a couple seconds, it creates now a multicam sequence. Let me just trim this front quickly. What this essentially enables is if I play this, I can switch between camera angles by using my keyboard. So let me click play. By clicking two, I have now changed to camera B, which is to my side, and clicking one again, I've changed back to my main camera. What you can also do is click space bar and just with your mouse, select the angle that you want there. What that's doing every time we change the angles is it's creating a cut point in our timeline so we can see exactly where we've changed camera angles. In addition, what's great about a multicam sequence is I can double click and now we have access to those individual files that it's automatically sunk. I can drop the audio for one of the files. This is incredible because it gives us individual flexibility to color grade, change zoom, scaling, position, etc., of those shots while still having our multicam sequence. But let's go ahead and delete that. That's just two camera angles. You're editing a podcast with three or four camera angles. Thank you to Cine Study for this footage. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, also their credits. If I go ahead and import four camera angles this is a music video I can highlight them follow the same procedure say create multicam sequence let's go ahead and say create and this is four camera angles at four minutes long each and it's pretty much instantly done that and now we have our multicam sequence and you can see in the top here there's four different camera angles so if I go ahead and click play you can change to camera two change to camera three change to camera four and if I pause that, you can see that we have all of our cut points. So now we have our shots changing just like that. The next feature is something that really does take CapCut into almost an After Effects. It definitely a professional editing software. It's multiple compound clipping, something that us professional editors would have wanted for a while. What is multiple compound clipping? In the past, you used to only be able to highlight your clips, right click, say create compound clip, and that was it, you could only make one. Now, let's say I wanted to apply an effect on this layer or a title on this layer. I can go ahead and select those two titles and create another compound clip. There is a limit to this, but you're probably not gonna reach that limit. In addition, if I go into, by double clicking my compound clip, I can now have access to those two files to make any changes. And again, if I go into compound clip one, there are our individual files. So much like the multicam sequence, you can now multiple compound clip. And here are some use cases for that. It essentially, again, allows you to create amazing, stunning visual effects because you have the access to create multiple compound clips instead of just one. This next feature is something that I use on almost every single edit, and it's such a time saver, all right? It's called copy and pasting attributes. What that means is, let's say I've done my color grade, let's say I do some scale, some positioning changes, just like that, and I want to copy this attribute or these elements to another video clip. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this raw video clip in here. You can see that these two files look very different. By selecting the video I've done the changes to, I can right click and say, copy attributes, and then on this raw file or this new file, I can say paste attributes. That's then gonna bring the paste attributes panel up where I can say paste. And what it's done is replicate all the things that we changed about this clip onto this clip. This next new feature is full manipulation over your effects. Let me show you by example. Let's say I wanted to apply this leak onto my clip. In the past, you wouldn't have customization tools. Now what I can do is, let's say I only want that leak to apply from the middle of the clip. I can select the time frame that I want that leak to apply. And now, once that's done, the leak goes away. In addition, if I go ahead and click my clip, you can see that it's gone, but simply by going to video basic and clicking that edit icon, I can again change the duration of that and change some of the values of how strong and fast the effect applies. This last feature is for those of us who like to keep a neat and tidy timeline. There are now track settings inside of CapCut, which essentially allow us to manipulate our tracks. All right, what I mean by that is if you go to those three dots, you now have a track height feature, which allows you to change from short, yours is gonna be on default to tall. We can expand or shrink the size of our track. In addition, we have waveform size, which allows us to, if we go to 100, really get a close look at where our waveforms are, and therefore we can edit sound better. But this is a great way if you have 10 different layers of video and tons of audio tracks, you can shrink those audio tracks, shrink those video tracks, and have access and still see all of those different layers.
If you have one, you can expand that and have full access to seeing your clip. Those are five amazing new features from CapCut. See you in the next one.